A very good morning, students. We are in our practical lecture, and this will be lecture number six. And today we are going to solve map number nine. And here is the question: A lower trace of the sandstone bed of 20 meter thick outcrops at point P. It has a dip of 5 degree north 20 west. It is overlined by shale and underlined by limestone. Trace the outcrop. Mark the beds. Describe the geology of the area. So here is the question. You can see the map here, which is having a point P, which is the indicating the lower trace of sandstone. And here is the direction. You can see the scale here. Okay. So this is what given. So what we have to do is the very first step in solving the map is writing down the static graphic sequence. So far we have dealt with only one formation that is the coal seam. So we are now bothered about the sequence. But here we are getting three formation that is the sandstone, then there is a shale, then there is a limestone. Okay. So for that we have to draw the static graphic sequence. So what we met first that is the sandstone. Then the sandstone is overlined by shale there, and it is underlined by limestone. Okay, so this is the sequence where uh, limestone is the oldest one and the shale is the youngest one, and we are given the thickness of the sandstone as 20 meter. Okay, so this is the question. And remember, whenever you are writing the sequence, the topmost and bottommost beds we cannot find the thickness. The reason is that we don't know what extent these have been extended, and due to erosion, what has been removed. Okay, so we cannot find the actual thickness of the topmost bed, and in terms of bottommost bed, we cannot find the bottommost uh, layer. As you know, if we move further down to find the depth of the limestone, right, there could be a end of limestone, there will be formation, uh, starting of some other bed, right? Maybe a sandstone or shale or anything, conglomerate or anything else. So if you trace further, then also then like that, you have to move further on and on and on. So we cannot find the bottommost bed, as you don't know, as you can't find the tip of the or the end of that uh, bottommost layer, right? So technically speaking, when you are writing out the sequence, you should not mention the thickness of the topmost and bottommost bed. Okay? So this is the stratigraphic sequence. So what we have to do is, as you know, this is the incline formation. We have to trace the outcrop according to the strike, dip, and the topography of the region, right? So What we have to do, what we are going to do is, we is we are going to find the lower trace of sandstone. Okay, so for that, what we do is, we will just uh, use the two set squares to first step as we have to mark the north orientation in the map. So this is the very first reference line that you mark for the north orientation. And in the question, they had given the dip direction, which is north 20 west. So this is north. So and this will be your west, right? So you, this is zero. So we will be moving from north to west. So zero, ten, and twenty. So this will be your north twenty west point. Okay. So after pointing this, we have to draw a line, and we have to mention it as TD. That is true dip. So we had marked the true dip. So the next step is we have to mark the strike direction, right? So the difference between strike and dip is ninety degree. So we have to add just 90 with the 20 degree. That will be 110 degree. So we kept a point here, and this will be your strike direction. Okay. So we we had drawn the very first strike. So the next step is we have to find the spacing between the next strike, that is the horizontal equivalent. And to find that, we can use the dip formula, which is dip is equal to strike interval by the horizontal equivalent into scale. The strike interval for any map is the equal to the Contour interval. So in this map, the contour interval is 10 meter. So we can use same value as strike interval that is 10 meter. And horizontal equivalent we don't know, right? That we have to find. And scale is given as 1 centimeter is equal to 100 meter. And dip they are given in the question as 5 degree. So just rewriting this formula, the horizontal equivalent comes this side and the dip comes this side. So the strike interval will be 10 and dip is 10 5 degree and the scale is 1 is to 10,000. Just by solving this, what we will get is we will be getting 1.2 centimeter as horizontal equivalent. So what we have to do is we have to place a scale here and we have to point 1.2 centimeter in both the sides in the same line from this point. So this will be your horizontal equivalent. The next step is we have to draw strikes just parallel to the primary strike that we had drawn in the first step by using two set squares. So these are some of the strikes that you can draw using the set square that is parallel to the primary strike and passing through the horizontal equivalent point that you had already pointed, right? And for this map, you can see the topmost contour value is 110 and bottommost contour value is 60. So you can simply draw 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. 10. So there will be a minimum of 60 to 90 strikes is more than sufficient. So for this map, I have drawn many many strikes, but uh, further as we move further, we will not uh, take this much of strikes, which is uh, actually not necessary. Okay.
so as you know the outcrop is appearing at a contour and there is a strike passing here so the strike value will be equal to the contour value which is 70 meter right so this will be 70 meter strike and remember as there are three beds and you are dealing with the bedding plane that is the contact between the limestone and sandstone so you have to mention it here in the top of the area so there will be no any confusion so this 70 meter strike is mentioned here for the contact of sandstone by limestone okay so here we are dealing with two bedding planes so we may have to write a say a different value for the same strike so to avoid confusion we are doing this so this line separates uh, two contact here say here it is limestone uh, sandstone limestone probably here it will be a shale by sandstone contact and there will be some different value for the same strike okay for our time being we'll just solve this side so this strike is 70 meter and this is the true dip direction so as we move towards the true dip direction the strike value will get reduced and the strike interval is 10 meter as it uh, as the counter interval is 10 meter so this will be 60 50 40 30 20 and 10 right this is more than sufficient in this side and if you move in the opposite direction to the true dip the strike value will start increasing so this will be 80 90 100 and 110 okay so this is over so the next step as you remember what we have to do is we have to find the contact between the same value of strike and contour okay so here it is 110 and here is a contour which is having 110 so you can place a point here and it is this is 100 here this is 90 this is 80 a uh, 70 that is already there in the map okay and this is 60 and once again there is 60 here and there is a 70 here and 80 we are not getting anywhere here okay so these are the points so what we have to do is we have to trace a line just passing these points okay so if you trace this will be coming just like this is that clear so that's it we had solved this uh, lower trace of sandstone by limestone which simply means in one side of the line there is a sandstone bed in other side of the line there will be a limestone bed is that clear so we had completed one portion that is the lower trace of sandstone now we have to shift towards the upper trace which is the shale by sandstone contact right so for that we can use the same set of strikes but the only difference is the strike values will be changed so how we have to change this so in this case if you take we are moving from lower trace to upper trace okay as this sequence is homoclinal and we have a uniform thickness bed which are under with a uniform thickness of 20 meter so the same strike for the upper trace of the sandstone and shale will be 20 meter more than the lower trace so if this is 70 meter right for sandstone by limestone contact so this will be 90 meter for shale by sandstone contact as we are moving from lower to upper with a thickness of 20 meter right so this is the reason we are marking the same strike for 90 for the contact of shale by sandstone okay so now you just simply forward these values for the second portion that is for shale by sandstone contact we have to uh, uh, rely upon only this strike values okay so as you know this is the true dip direction so if you move this side the value will get reduced and if you move on this side the value will get increased so just simply filling you can simply find the 10 will become 30 60 will become 80 100 will become 120 and 80 will become 100 so these are the strike values for the stream strike but the contact is different that is the shale by sandstone contact so the next step what we have to do is we have to find out the points of same strike and uh, contour value but remember for this time you just forgot this values and we have to just follow this values only so this is your 120 so we have 120 here so you can keep a point here like this there is a hundred then there is a 90 then there is a 80 70 one second 60 the same 60 appears here then there is a 70 and 80 and that's it so these are the equal value of strike and uh, contour meeting points so what we have to do is we have to simply trace this and remember there is a shortcut to remember that is to solve a map always if you draw a bedding plane the consecutive bedding plane will be uh, somewhat parallel as you know the contours uh, next to one another will be somewhat parallel the same way the outro will also be somewhat parallel with one another okay so for time being this is uh, this map is over and if you have any doubt just mention it in the comment section we will try to solve it in the our next upcoming videos and for so far i'm just ending this video and remember the contacts as you know one side of the trace is sandstone right so this portion will be your sandstone bed with the 20 meter thickness and this will be your shale which is the youngest sequence and this will be your limestone which is the older sequence
थैंक यू